Greetings everybody, my name is Bridget, and welcome to episode 7 of my Let's Play of Link's Awakening. We are greeted by this cute little bear ghost guy from the last episode, so we're gonna find out what he wants from us. The house at the bay. I to talk to you. I can't talk to him. Oh, he's following me now. He's my little buddy. I came to the animal village to give the thingy, but I guess we're gonna help this little little ghost guy. He's so cute! Look at him! Oh. Ooh, I think I know what house by the bay he's talking about. I know what it is. I I know. Um I know! I'm taking you. I'm just having trouble because I'm an idiot. Will he follow me down here? If I go. Oh he does. Okay, good. House by the Bay is the one that we saw... Oh, there's part... Oh, Sorry, dude. Give me a second. Oh, there's a piece of heart. I look like a full piece down there. Go piece of heart. Oh! And we gained a life. Fantastic. Look at you. Bringing me luck, little dude. Little dead dude. But anyway, back to what I was saying. He was... I saw the house when we had Marin. I think I put that in the episode, but anyway, I'll show you when I get there. There's a house by the beach when you talk to Marin, and that's his little hut. So we're gonna make our way that way. I don't think I can use the warp pad with him, so I'm not gonna risk it. So I'll be right back when I get to the beach area by the village. So we're at the beach area, so we go over here. Here, enter my house. I like your look at your house. I like how it has those blooms on the roof. That's pretty. Sorry if you can hear my neighbors again. Fucking they keep her so fucking loud. Makes me mad. Hmm. Hmm. Nostalgia. Unchanged. Looking at like the memories of stuff. <laughs> Enough cemetery. Take me, my grave. Hmm. We're helping a ghost cross over. Don't mind me while I trash your home. <laughs> he comes with me. He looks like he used to be an adventurer. He has steampunk glasses and things like that. Check. The door to the cabinet is hanging off its hinges. Nobody's used this thing in a while. Maybe he's us in a past life. Because he has a map and a compass. So, who knows? Maybe he's Link from the past. Or Link to the past Link. So we have to make our way back to the graveyard, so we have to go where near the witch's hut is. So I will take you guys there and I'll meet you guys there. See ya soon. I'm taking you. Take me to my grave with the flowers. Oh! It's right there. There's the witch's hut. There's some zombies. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. A jar for you. Put something inside. Bye bye. Aww. He like crossed over. That's nice. You got a fairy bottle. Aww. <laughs> oh, there's my owl friend. Where were you? He was just like, yeah, you beat the fucking angler's cave, whatevs. Who has been some time since our paths have crossed. I forgot all about you. You must dive into the water of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish... Catfish Maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward. Hoot. Got it, bruh. He's like, I'll see if I'll remember you later. Bye. So, that spot there, I can't really do anything with it because I don't have the claw shot, so it's pointless. But I'm going to make my way back to the animal village using our special trusty Mambo song our special friend gave us. And get back to Anamal Village. Where we're going to give our hibiscus flower to that little bitch ass bunny thing. And hopefully finish the trading quest this episode. There she is. <laughs> oh, you brought me a hibiscus? How sweet. Well, since you are such a gentleman, I have a request to make of you. Will you listen? Yeah, I guess. I will... I would like you to take this letter to Mr. Wright or Miss Wright? Mr. Wright? Who lives in the border of the mysterious forest, please. Ew, she's got a crush. She's all blushy. You traded a hibiscus for a goat's letter. That's a goat? Okay. That would be like, I don't know. That doesn't look like a goat. You know, sometimes I can't help eating a delicious piece of paper, even if it's a letter for my darling Mr. Wright. How embarrassing. That'd be like me making a birthday cake and then like, I'm like, I'm gonna give it to somebody and then like... Oh, she puts a flower in there when I leave and come back. That's nice. And then I like eat it and I'm just like, I just can't help but eat cake when I know I should like give it to somebody. <laughs> but let's warp back. And I'll meet you guys at the border of the mysterious forest. So this is a border of the mysterious forest, and this is Mr. Right. Oh, we got some bestiality going on. Don't mind me, I'm breaking shit. He kind of looks like a weird green hair, like Joker-esque Albert Einstein. He's just vibrating for it. Ew. What's this a letter for me? <laughs> I'm so happy. I love the different birds in here. And look, the letter came with a photograph. What? Was it always Peach? And the, even in the original? What the heck? I didn't even know. What's this? Hmm. She's so beautiful. So beautiful. She must... What? Hmm. She's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Hmm. Well, it looks like all I have is this broom. Huh! We can finally replace the broom for that nice old lady. Oh. Look at the little bird look up. He's like, you got the fucking broom. <laughs> you got a broom as your reward from Mr. Wright. But the photo was not of... 
That's true. The photo is not of the girl that gave it to us. Maybe she is Peach. Maybe she got transformed into an animal in this world. Oh boy. Letter writing is such a great hobby. Yes, it is. I actually love writing letters. I used to write letters to my grandmother all the time when she was alive. It was like my favorite thing to do. It was like a thing to do for school and then we just kept doing it afterwards. And I really like that. And I miss having someone to write letters to. Not many people write letters. I'm not big on email and all that stuff. And I suck at texting. <laughs> but, like, I always love the idea of just writing someone a heartfelt letter and giving it to them. Twenty rupees. Thanks, Mr. Ray. Giving you that weird peach letter lent me to all these good goods. I don't know if there's rupee limits in this series because I'm holding like a thousand and up rubies. So who knows? What does this owl have to say? Music. The fish. The fish stirs in the egg. Back at the village, and we're gonna give this room to the old lady. Hi. Ooh. Ooh. I like how she's Grandma Yahoo, and she always says Yahoo Yahoo. That's cute. A new broom for me. It is, isn't it? Yes. Oh, not deny. Ah, she does it. Oh. In return, you can have this fishing hook I found when I swept my... by the riverbank. You exchange the broom for the fishing hook. What will the fishing hook become? I don't know. I'm gonna try and get that Goomba. Yeah. <laughs> ah. No. <laughs> Give me my Goomba. Give me my freaking Goomba. Give me. Yeah. You got the Goomba figurine. Try to resist the urge to jump on it. I'm going to leave and come back. And if there's another figure, then I might try again. Okay, I'm gonna go place this Goomba. If I remember right, it's in Madam. No, 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 it's not. It's in my house. Not Madam Yummy House. Is it this one? Stand something piranha plant. And this stand something Goomba. Place it. Maybe this is Mario. Because, like, there's the mushrooms. And they're using the pictures. And maybe Princess Peach got turned into a goat. Does that mean she's a Capricorn? Anyway. We're gonna go over here. Since I'm loaded and full of money, let's go blow it on a... What's that? Uh, 
bow and arrow. <laughs> That's a lot! Wait, what? Chamber stone, 1,280 rubies, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to like collect stones and give them to freaking... Uh... Dampy. My neighbors are being really loud and I'm trying not to get aggravated. But in the meantime, I'm going to go and make my way to the area that's gonna help us get started. One on the quest towards the catfish moi. So I will see you there. Ooh. Oh, what is that you have in your hand? It's a fishing hook. It is, is it? You had better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. Okay. Keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. Oh my, that's a big one. That was actually sad. Ooh, you got the fishing hook became a necklace. L l lucky. I talk to you. I can't wait to see what I'll catch next. I'm just like sink his boat as I jump out. So we're gonna use this necklace to talk to the mermaid. It's over yonder. There she is. Hey, pretty lady. That's it! That's my necklace! Give it! Give it back! Bitch. I will give you a scale. As I said. I don't remember you saying anything to me. Whoa, Link, you're going pretty down low for that. Promise you'll... only take one. Jeez, Link, calm down. You return, you return the necklace and got a scale of the mermaid's tail. How will you use this? Ow. Bye, pretty lady. <gasps> Alrighty. What's this do? Oh, is this how I get to it? I'm on the right track with everything. I just want to make sure. So we're doing good so far. And we're making our way to the next dungeon, which is great. So let's see Ooh, what I can accomplish here in the level five catfish. Mwah. Mwah ha ha ha. I'm really happy with how things are going. I'm feeling really good today, even though my neighbors are really loud and it's upsetting, but that's okay. As long as I don't, like, they don't make too much noise with, like, the music and stuff so I don't get copyright striped on, like, my video. I don't care. But, like, after that, I'm feeling really confident and really good today, so hopefully that keeps up. And I can keep making these videos, and soon, hopefully, I will be finished with this game. Let's go this way. Let's see what's this way. What is it? Mine! <laughs> I got the Krampus! Krampus. Whoa, 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 whoa. These monsters are like... Not that bad. Like... I don't know. Oh god, hold on. I made it! Ooh. Oh, the red ones threw their rip cages. Really take it. You okay there, guy? I feel like I'm dead now. Push. My heart. <laughs> Let's just squish it. I, like, I thought it fell like right directly on my head. I was like, what? Let me take my key, shove it in here, see what happens. Get out of here! Ouch! 
Maybe I feel more confident because I have this tunic that doesn't make me die as often, so I don't- I feel more like a badass right now. Yeah. Ah! They kind of have like a- a Charmander look to them, but also kind of have like an esque of like Cubone. Cubone's like my favorite Pokemon. And he kind of looks like it with his little hat. I like it. Oh, I like it. Can I push this? No. Break the crystals. Crystal gems. Oh, there's like the stone there. Oh. Time to die. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> He's like, where's the stupid kid? Oh. Come on, hurry up. Freaking re-deads. The re-deads and freaking Twilight Princess are terrifying. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to drop that. Like, I hated them. They're really difficult to beat Twilight Princess. Arg, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. Okay. Pussy. There's a wuss bus that redid is. It's like no matter how many times they can make delay, they just suck at everything. I've got what was inside this box. Come and get me if you can, master. Okay, I'm at the third one, not the second one. It's fine. Oh. My. Frickin'. Gosh. Get. Out of her. <laughs> Throw it. What's in here? Please be a claw shot. Let's see the map. I think the map's good, I guess. <sighs> Ooh, we found the second guy. Well, the second part where the guy is. Glup, you found me. You're a real pesky kid. You know that. Thanks, I know. I'm gonna beat him the same way as the other one. Alright, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. And he's still a wuss. And since we know where the third one is, we can just make our way there once more. Kick his butt again. And I think... I'm an idiot. But I... Th I don't know how I dropped the bomb when I pressed the... The jump key, but I don't know. I found a way. But we'll... Do that. And I think I remember where the fourth one is. I think. Bam! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm out of house, man. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, I'm an idiot. I've already been there. We're here. Oh, well, don't you have some tricks up your sleeve? Bam, man. That's what you get. Finally! Claw shot. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, sorry, you got the hook shot. Its chain stretches long when you use it. Thank you. Finally. Beating him is like pretty much the same way as all the other ones. Except like he jumped like I think twice and that was it. And that was like the <laughs> that was all he did, so Okay. I'm a badass this time around. Sweetles. We're making good progress, guys. I'm really proud of myself. I'm upset that I still don't have like much to say. I just pretty much talk about the same thing. So if I actually talk about the same things, I have like really piss poor memory. So I don't remember that well. So if I say or talk about anything on here like a bajillion times in a row, I'm sorry. I just can't remember that well. I have really bad memory. Ooh. Ah. But like, I feel like I'm doing pretty good for this walkthrough. Not walk through, play through. Uh, oops. 
of Link's Awakening. I'm good, doing a lot better than I ever did when I played the first time. When I played this the first time by myself. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I got the harp and that was it. And I stopped playing. And I was like, it's whatever, I don't care. Yeah, this one I'm like, I'm really intrigued and really excited. And I can't wait to see how we can go about finishing this game. Which is like a new fresh feeling for me. Because usually I'm like ready to jump and give up. I have a small key, so I have to break, unlock that. And we can finally get this treasure chest over here. So I'm being a BRB because it's a long truck back onwards. So I will be a right big. Oi! Okay. Right. Get out of my way. What do I get today? Excuse you. I got a nice small key. We can use the key here. Oh! Ew. I'm gonna, I don't know why. This feels like a... There we go. I was doing it the, the, the long way, but I, uh... Hitting him with the, uh... Thank you! Jeez. By hitting him with the, uh... Arrows, you had to use look. Of course, every time I get a new toy, the hook shot, and then I'm just like, what do I use it for? I don't know. I'm gonna try and figure out how to get over there. <laughs> Bloopers! Bloopies. Bloopy, bloopy, bloops. I almost forgot about this area. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Here we go. I had to turn my air conditioner on, so sorry if you hear it, but I couldn't take the heat anymore. I was getting super frustrated. I took like the long ass way <laughs> over here, probably. Whoopsies. That's okay. <laughs> I got 333 rupees. I feel so cool. Okay, is there anything I missed? No. Thank God I got all the treasure chests and we are good to go. <sighs> I only have like four and a half hearts, but... Here's the open market doing it. So, you're the outsiders. I didn't see what else he said. I shall eat you. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? I don't remember this. Oh god. I got crazy butt vagina guy here. Um, he looks like he would take bombs, so... Okay, the one thing I will say I really dislike about this game and really annoys me about Link is how fucking slow he moves. It really, really annoys me. I like being ever so careful because I really don't want to risk dying right now. Thank you. Oh wait, I know it's not done yet. Just because you just seem to know what kind of island this is. Kihihi, <laughs> what a full kihihi. <laughs> oh, we're getting some deep shit here. I don't know what kind of island this is at all. I just woke up here, dude. Like, I don't know what you're trying to tell me. Ooh, that was a little tricky. But yeah, I really don't like how... Get off! I have to yell at my cats. <laughs> Jumping on the computer. I have to, like... I really don't like how slow Link does move. Oh, there! This, this, the xylophone? Saxophone? Xylophone? I don't know. There we go! I just move faster, Link. <laughs> you got the wind marimba. What's this one sound like?
kind of almost sounds like the same as the heart. Oh, you see my cat Sushi back there staring at the walls because she's upset because I yelled at her to get off the computer. The shrine. The island's secret in the shrine. Ooh, we're gonna find out the secret. What aren't you telling me? What are these lies? I want to know. I'm gonna get out of these waters and then I'm gonna probably end this episode maybe if nothing else catches my eye like last time. Where I was just like, oh, I'm done. And then all of a sudden this little pink ghost is like, hey, sup? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm gonna park my happy butt in here. <laughs> Where it's safe. Maybe we'll call the old man Aurelia in the next episode to see what cool news he has to tell us. But until then, I'm happy with this episode. I'm happy how it went. I'm really feeling good and enjoying it, and I hope you guys are too. But We'll see what else happens and what secrets lie beneath all of this weird island stuff. But until then, I hope you guys have a good night or day, depending on where you are in the world. And I'm going to see you later.